so the events unfolding around us are making clearer than ever that we're living in the final part of the last days, undoubtedly the final part of the final part of the last days, shortly before the last day of the last days. Eight million Jehovah's Witnesses around the globe believe the end is nigh for a world that is controlled by Satan, and only they will be saved. He may use hailstones of undisclosed size to destroy those wicked humans. Now, during that time, will we need to fear the natural elements? Not at all. They are raised in, in this kind of fear bubble in which they're constantly being told the end of the world is near, Jehovah God is going to murder people who are unbelievers, you are going to be judged. But those who've managed to escape the organization say the real danger is from this group of ultra-conservative biblical literalists. Former Jehovah's Witnesses have come forward to expose practices they say have destroyed lives. Everybody thinks that Jehovah's Witnesses are just lovely people, friendly, nice looking people who may be a bit quirky, who knock on doors. And it's very difficult to help people understand just how dangerous this group is and how, what a harrowing experience people who leave have to go through. They will rip you apart. They rip your, your reputation apart. They rip you apart as a person. I mean, they even ripped me apart as a mum. Well, to have 1,800 victims, over 1,000 perpetrators, and not a single case be uh, reported to the authorities, to the police, it was shocking. I couldn't believe that. Why are you letting this happen to children? Now in Australia, those scarred by this group are fighting back. It's worse than the Catholics. What has this organisation taken from you? 33 years of my life, and I'm not letting them take any more. They're not taking another part of my life. Available now on Video On Demand.